All right, so today I've got two different boosts. This one here is a, a preamp boost. It's based on sort of like the LBP1 or the Earthquake Devices Arrows in that it's based on that it's got a 5089 transistor in there. That's the basis of the boost, just one transistor. The 5089 has got a HFE of 400, so it's quite a high gain transistor. So this will probably be the highest gain boost you'll get just with one transistor. It's not a clean boost, so it won't just boost your clean signal. It will actually clip the signal a bit. So it does sound, to me, it sounds like a very light distortion. It kind of takes a bit of the bass out as well. So I'm not a massive fan of this one, but I guess it has its places. But I just wanted to make another one so I could compare it to this one. This one is a clean boost. So it will basically boost your clean signal. This this boost is based around the transistor, the BS170. This boost is pretty much the boost section out of a life pedal. So it's the uh, the magnitude section of the life pedal, I think it is. Yeah, that's just a, a boost section. It, they've also done a... Earthquake devices have also done a black eye boost. Um, it's not quite the same as this circuit. This circuit's mainly just based around a BS170. The Black Eye's got a, a couple of diodes in there as well and a, um, a trim pot as well for the for the transistor. So I think you may be able to get more out of it with the trim pot. I've got it hooked up to a rat pedal and I've got it hooked up to an octave switch as well. So basically it can emulate what I've got down there. I can emulate the life pedal sound. I'm also going to just show you the, the um, this other preamp boost as well. Just so you can side by side see what they both do. Um, I'll set my amp head to a clean channel so you can just hear those clean boosts and hear the preamp boost as well. And then I'll chuck it through the rat pedal and you can hear that as well. Yeah, really liking this clean boost. What I've done on my pedal board at the moment, I have a HM2. To, to, I use that as a boost, which isn't really ideal because the HM2 can do all sorts of other things as well. But if you if you completely get rid of the the uh, distortion and the, have a bit of volume on there, you can use it as a boost and a bit of an EQ as well. Um, but yeah, I want to get rid of that and put on this boost instead, and then I can use the HM2 as what the HM2 I like, you know, with the Swedish chainsaw sort of thing going on. Anyway, I'll give you a test of these. All right, so I'll just show you this um, preamp boost. Um, it's the uh, 5089 transistor boost. So what we've got, um, I've just got my amps on a clean setting. Bit of tune, uh -huh. And um, I'll just fire it through this on a clean setting and then I'll up the gain on the amp and you can see how it reacts with, with the gain on the, uh, just on the amp. So you've got a boost and then gain just on the amp. Um, and I'll kind of switch between as well so you can just hear what that, that's sounding like. Um, we've got it going through an SM57 as well and obviously um, orange micro dark through this Marshall 4x12.
This one's the clean boost. Um, I'll do exactly the same again. I'll show you a clean channel. And then I'll um, I'll run through the pedal on the clean channel so you'll hear the, the boost, the clean boost. Um, and then I'll whack the gain up on the orange and you can hear clean boost with the orange. Again on the orange. Okay, so I've got my um, my magnitude boost over here. I've got my rap pedal, and I've got a octave up on this pedal. But this is like a fuzz pedal, but I won't engage the fuzz. Um, so you can just kind of hear what that boost sounds like through a rap pedal. I'll activate each in turn. So I really love these um, small enclosures. They're designed for probably, you know, 
like small circuits like this boost one. This is uh, an Acapulco Gold style circuit, so it's got two uh, LM386 chips in it. Um, it it all just about fit in here, but the boost circuits are kind of smaller, so I think you get a better chance of chucking the boost switch in here. I'm, I'm thinking of, of maybe etching, having a go at etching. I just think they look really nice. And this will fit on the pedal board, it won't take up too much room on the pedal, pedal board as well. Um, I'll probably put the knob up there a bit and then maybe I'll get some space, some artwork in there somehow. I want to get an orange LED. I've, I've got a thing about orange LEDs at the moment, so that's going to happen. And um, like I just did a kind of pseudo life pedal sound, um, I am working on my own life pedal. I've done the outside enclosure for it. Um, I just got to do the circuit. I've got some Russian diodes for the octave, so the blendable octave is going to be really cool because it's got some real um, good Russian diodes for that one. Um, I want to get another set of uh, Russian diodes as well, so I can make a blendable octave in one of these as well, just see if I can get one in inside one of these enclosures. Uh, yeah, just uh, switch things up on my pedal board. So if I just want the octave or if I just want the boost with a different thing, not necessarily the rap pedal, I might want the boost for something else, um, then I can just switch those out or I can have the life pedal as a whole on my pedal board as well and just be able to carry around that instead of a big uh, bulky rap pedal as well. Anyway, there we go. That's the reason behind what I'm doing. See you next time.